Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Dom and today we're going to be having a look at an alternative way to access items by their index with JavaScript arrays. Now, of course, the most common way to do this is to use the square brackets and pass an index into it to retrieve that item, but there's a different way to do this and it comes with extra functionality. So let's explore this right now using this colors array. And let's say I want to get the second item in the list. I would say console.log, then say colors at index one. We all know that arrays start at zero, so zero, one, two. Accessing the index of one should give us green in the console. Let's verify this by saying node index.js, press enter, and of course we get green right there. And this is pretty self-explanatory, but what if I want to access the last item in the array without knowing the array's length? So of course I can say two to get blue, but like I said, what if I don't know what the length of the array is? I could, for example, think to put negative one. So in other languages such as Python, you can use negative indexes such as negative one to get the last item in a list or an array, okay? If I was to try and run this in JavaScript, unfortunately, we get undefined, okay? In a similar fashion, if I do negative two, I might expect the second last item to be returned. I'll try it again and of course we also get undefined. So how do we solve this problem? Well, using JavaScript, we can utilize the slice method. And this here is very common. It's nothing new, okay? I can say colors.slice, which is going to return me part of the array. So once again, let's try to access the second last item. I can say negative two here. This method supports negative indexes. If I run this code, we actually get a part of the array or a slice of the array. Starting at this negative index of green, then everything after that value, which is why we get green and blue. But if I just wanna get green, using negative two here, I could say then at index zero using those square brackets once again, and I'll run this and now we only get green. So using this particular code here, we simply pass in the negative index that we want and we're able to retrieve uh, just that item at that index. So of course, this has been used for many years, but recently over the past few years or so, there's been a new method introduced called at, okay? So let's try it again using at. Let's get rid of this and we'll say colors.at, then say negative two just like that. I'll save it and run the code and we get green. So the at method is gonna support your negative indexes. Let's do negative one. We of course are now gonna get blue. Now it also works with of course our normal positive numbers. For example, zero, it's gonna give us red and so on. So at is similar to the square brackets in many ways, but it also allows you to pass in your negative indexes. So what is the drawback of using at? Well, the main drawback I see at the moment is compatibility. So this might work on your uh, Node.js environment. If you're using 16.6, I believe, or higher, this should work. In the browser, if I go to caniuse.com, we can see here that as of mid uh, May 2023, the at method has a 90.82% uh, global coverage. So in my opinion, this here isn't really enough to use on production. Um, of course you can if you like, but I would recommend not doing that because one in 10 users won't be able to, uh, of course, you know, have their page run with that method on it. Um, so if you do want to use it on production, definitely uh, try to use a polyfill. Otherwise, uh, stick to any controlled environments like your own apps, which you use personally, or of course, using Node.js. Um, but yeah, look, for the most part, you know, 
I would you know try and try and use this if you can because it's a much simpler syntax, especially if you're using negative indexes. If you don't see yourself doing that, then maybe stick to your standard square brackets. Uh, but look, maybe in a few years it'll be more common and we can start using it a lot more on production environments. So that right there is the at method in JavaScript. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and you learned something. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.